Hello and welcome to another episode of Beer Man's Noble Beer Views. Today I have another beer from Divine Barrel Brewing Company out of Charlotte, North Carolina. Um, this beer is called Richard Flair Chest Chop. And you can see that's a uh, world title there and a little feather from a feather boa. So it's obviously a take on uh, Ric Flair, <coughs> the wrestler. Um... And this is a West Coast style pale ale brewed exclusively with Simcoe hops, which is awesome because that's my favorite hop. Um, I don't like the fact that, uh, I mean, there's nothing that says that they have to do this, but I really don't like the fact that uh, brewers feel obligated now to say like West Coast pale ale. Um, I know that hazy IPAs are so common now that West Coast is probably like less than 50% of the ones that exist, maybe. But I feel like just saying American Pale Ale to me assumes that it's not like hazy and you should have to say hazy if it is. That's just the most uh, hazy beers I've seen are not pale ales, you know, like sub 7%. Um, or sub 6%, I guess I would say. <clears throat> and I, I don't know, I just... Seeing West Coast Pale Ale is a weird thing to me because that's just generally not... Like, American Pale Ale is the style. And then if you do a hazy one, that's just like a, a specific take on it. But it is what it is. Um, this is 5.8 ABV. So, you know, it's definitely in the, uh, the realm... Um, and this was canned on 11 or 8 11 20. Today is 8 15 20. So it's only four days old, so hyper fresh. Um, and on the you know, a lot of breweries they have canned on blah 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 date, and then there's like a little message, a couple words. This one just says, Woo! Um, so obviously, an O to Ric Flair. Uh, I've not had, I've not had this before so crack it open and see what we got <clears throat> so um it's definitely west coast in uh, clarity at least it's very very clear you can see my thumb just rolling back and forth there um, a nice that's one thing that I like about their West Coast beers is they're able to get like a ton of very pungent hop aromas um, without the beer being overly bitter but also having like hardly any caramel malt and being very very light and if you look I mean this is kind of the that similar thing i mean it looks like a pilsner basically it's very very light golden color fluffy white head <clears throat> but the aroma is just super fresh dank floral uh simcoe So, I know, I would say most people probably say Columbus is the most uh, weed-like hop, but Simcoe is definitely up there. To me, it's usually a mix between, like, dankness and overripe and pineapple. Um, this is definitely in that, in that realm. There's a little bit of uh, resin in there, too. Not really any malt character at all, which is kind of uh, what you want with a West Coast IPA other than a little bit of maybe like some crackery body. Um, you want it to just be all bitter, dry flavor, and that's it. And yeah, that's that's what I get out of this. It's uh, <clears throat> it's not super bitter because of 
I don't want to say because it's a pale ale because that really doesn't mean anything because it all just ha it all just depends on the hop schedule. But it's not very it's not super bitter. Um, but that's what makes a really good West of, uh, West Coast IPA is if you can make it super dry and like have that bitter bite but not like sting the tongue and not, you know, well, obviously if it's dry, it's not sweet. But also be very hot flavored and not just hot bitter. There's almost like a lemon lime like bo character to this, um, which is kind of weird. Uh, I don't know. I'm having trouble putting my uh, my tongue on exactly what it tastes like. But it is it is very light and easy to drink. But there's something about this that, uh, like I said, it's lemon limey, which is weird for Simcoe. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. You know, I, I thought the aroma was pretty good, but there's there's just something weird about the aroma or about the flavor. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's really lemon limey, which is not something I normally get for Simcoe. Uh, and there's another flavor to it that I honestly just can't put my finger on. It's just odd. Um, so maybe it was a weird batch of Simcoe hops. I'm really not sure, but I'm not feeling this one too much. Uh... On my scale of buy, drink, dump, I'm just going to give this a, uh, a drink. Um, it's not like gross or anything like that, but it's just kind of odd and not what I was expecting for a Simcoe single hop beer because I love Simcoe. Um, but it, it's still a fine, easy drinking beer. It's just not what I was wanting and not uh, as crisp and bright as I would expect it to be. And it's just kind of has an odd flavor profile so i'm just gonna give this a drink i think that's all i got on this one uh, please like comment subscribe let me know what you think and i look forward to doing the next one thanks